Hi, my name is Ethan Shaw, also known as Brother Shaw. I'm a steel guitarist and band leader based in Central Texas. Today we're going to talk about the difference between what a slide guitar is, a lap steel, and a pedal steel. Now there's a lot of confusion about this. A lot of people have no idea which is which. And so we're just going to talk about it and try and make it a little bit easier and simpler for you to know which is which. So we're going to start out with a slide guitar. Slide guitar is just a regular guitar. Now you might change the tuning of the strings, but you don't have to, but it is played with a slide. A slide is going to be made out of glass or metal, and it's going to fit on your finger. It's hollow, so it fits on your finger. <laughs> slide guitar. It's called slide guitar because of the slider you're using. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about, now we're going to get into steel guitars. The reason it's called a steel guitar is not because of what it's made out of. It's called a steel guitar because of what you play it with. This steel bar. So lots of people think when they think of steel guitar, they think of uh, an old Duolian or one of those uh, old Tricon or something that's made out of metal that's a resonator guitar. Well, that is a type of steel guitar, but it's not what the body of the guitar is made out of that gives it its name. It's what you play it with, the steel. Now, with the steel bar, it's going to be solid or it might be hollow and have some weight in it, but this does not fit over your finger. You hold it. So, this is a lap steel or a lap steel guitar. Typically these have six strings. It might have seven or eight. It's gonna go in your lap to play it. So lap steel sits in your lap. Um, that's a lap steel. Now it doesn't have to be Swingy like that. People play lap steel in rock bands. You can do a lot with a lap steel. This is where it's, the steel guitar really started uh, after it made the transition to electric. Now there there are acoustic steel guitars. Typically, people call those dobros or resonator guitars. But if it is played with a steel bar, it's still technically a steel guitar. So since this has six strings, even though you can do a whole lot with it, you can do even more if you add strings. So they started to add strings to lap steels, started making them into seven or eight strings. And the reason they did that is because you have more to work with and you can have these bigger tunings uh, that go higher and lower. And so and or thicker. So what they started to do was put multiple uh, necks together so you didn't have to keep on retuning your steel depending on what kind of tuning you wanted. So now they call these console steel guitars. A console steel has multiple necks. Most of them are two, but there's a lot of triples like this with three necks. I also have a four neck one. The idea is you can play uh, different tunings depending on your song. steel guitar this is still kind of a lap steel because it does not have pedals yet this is not a pedal steel guitar but this is now with this guitar the reason it's called a pedal steel guitar 
is it actually has pedals on it. What the pedals do is change the pitch of the strings. The original idea with this was they didn't want you to have to have three or four necks on your steel. If you had pedals to change the pitch of some of the strings, you could get these different tunings just on one or two necks. So what ended up happening is somebody, Bud Isaacs, figured out you that it sounds pretty cool to be able to hear the actual bend of the string when you're changing tunings. So he came up with this kind of sound. That's kind of the basis of the idea of the sound of the pedal steel, especially in country music. Um, so people started to do all kinds of different stuff with it. The whole idea of this is you can hear the strings bending into the new notes while you're playing. Now, you can also, typically there's going to be another neck. Now, that's on you. hear people talk about the E9 neck. That's the E9 neck, which is all that classic pedal steel sound. There are typically, on a lot of steels, you have two necks. The other neck is going to be a six tuning, which you can do everything that you did on the console steel. But then you also can change tunings like they originally intended. I'm going to give y'all some advice if you're interested in starting to play one of these instruments. Um, oh, a couple other things I'm going to tell y'all real quick. You might have noticed this is not a steel bar. It doesn't matter. Basically, they make bars out of different materials now. It's still called a steel guitar from what the original bars were. Um, the other thing is this particular steel guitar has two necks of eight strings each. Pretty soon after this was made, they switched to two necks of 10 string each. But it's still kind of that same gist of that sound that we were playing on here. Um, if you're thinking about getting into steel guitar, which while I'm talking about this, if you are, I, there's some other pretty helpful videos I have on this YouTube channel. So if you like what we're talking about, please like this video and please subscribe to this channel because you're gonna learn a lot of things that are going to help get you going. Also, there's a lot of performance videos of uh, my friends and me, and I think y'all might like those. So, so like and subscribe, and I think you'll be happy you did. Uh, so one of the videos is what uh, cheap lap steel should you start out with? And I'm going to really advocate or even if you want to play pedal steel later on, if you're just thinking about going down this road, it's really not a bad idea to buy a cheap lap steel first. Um, all the great masters, even who played pedal steel in the early days, they all started out pretty much on non-pedal steel, on the lap steel. And uh, so, you can learn so many skills just with that. I wish that I had started on the lap steel. I did not. I started on the pedal steel. But then I became reliant on what the pedals do. It was really difficult for me to make the switch to no pedals. Uh, but if I had started out playing with no pedals, then the pedals just add something to it. So I would highly recommend before you go out and spend four or five grand on a pedal steel, get yourself a little cheap lap steel, learn the basics of playing steel guitar on that. Then you can move up and you'll know pretty quickly whether it's something that you love or hate. And I'll tell you, it's addictive. I love it. Um, 
when I started playing steel guitar, it's pretty much all I would do every spare moment I got. And it pretty much is still like that. I love it. And uh, so, so my advice, if you're thinking about getting into steel guitar, buy a cheap lap steel. You can watch that video. I also have some videos to get you started uh, playing on the lap steel. And I'll continue to post more of them. So anyway, I hope this helped you all out. I hope you have a better understanding of the difference between all of these instruments. And now you know uh, if someone asked you what, uh, what instrument you're playing, if you're playing one of them, you can show them this video. Thanks, y'all have a good one.